Alright, here we are. Day two of the ripping stuff out right now. As you see, I got the radio hanging. Right now, we're working on getting the RCA and the old amp control wire out of there and the remote wire. I popped that yesterday there. A little thin filler there. Right there. Popped that off yesterday. So, today, we're just in the process that we're going to finish gutting this thing here. I got it pretty well gutted. I'll give you a quick video real quick. Hold on stuff off of my boots bam here we are again let's gut it we got it almost all the way down to bare metal as you see remove the glove box all the vents pretty well anything plastic I could remove took the old tweeters out of there give you a walk around there's my crazy little doggy so fast as you see, we got everything gutted. What are you doing? Watching me? I'm making a video. What? Here's the other side of the truck. Here's my boy. Say hi, YouTube. No, why are you watching pose? I'm making a video on YouTube. No, and then you watch, watch it. it. In a minute, here we are. Show you some more of the gutting process. I meant to take this off here yesterday. A little plastic thing. We'll get that off today. I think it's a screw or two at the bottom of it down there. One, two, or three. How many ever. But here we are. Just show you a quick video. And I haven't yet to remove damp wires either. I'm going to go ahead and push them all back through today. My power and ground. And start the process of... Foaming this puppy up is what we're going to do. We're not going to mess with the doors because that just seems to be a nightmare. But we will shoot a little foam all up in this dashboard to help try to strengthen it up a little bit. Pretty well make it a pain in the butt to get back out of this. I seen on the EXO video, he had made one. He was up there peeling his dashboard apart and stuff. He foamed it in. It looked like a pain in the butt to get back out, but he said it did pretty good for what he what he had it for. Thinking about doing something with the roof this year not a hundred percent sure yet it's kind of all raw and ugly looking but whatever but today we are just going to finish snatching everything out i was going to pull the seats out but of course i'm missing the uh, one socket i need to get the damn seats out go figure right i bought the whole set just for one and the one i need to get the seats out is go figure the one that's missing so we're gonna wait till next weekend and go buy another set of them and then we're gonna try to go ahead and get the seats in next weekend too i'm not sure if i'm gonna do both of them or one might just change the driver but we'll see what kind of deal we find we're gonna just go to up to the junkyard and look at the best set of small seats and see if we can get them as you see the stuff is just a pain in the butt it just always wraps around itself Bam. And this fella, we better pull him frontwards because there's about 15, well not 15, probably about 10 foot of that wrapped up in there. See if we can get that out of there without breaking it. And we did. Perfecto. This is just simple telephone wires, what I believe. Not 100% sure on that, but I believe it's just a simple telephone hookup. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure on that, but if so, we got plenty of that stuff at work. But here we are. Just gutting this thing pretty well. There's the RCAs. I did get my super tweeters back in. I showed you the last video. I didn't put them in the door yet, but I did get them. Did get them in. And well, bam. We have about gutted this thing. Weatherman lied yesterday here in Jacksonville, Florida. Said it was going to be warm, but he definitely lied. Here's my old school Sony Explode. We're going to upgrade this year for sure. We're going to get a double deck, double den, whatever you call it, and wedge up in there to fill up the board. And just get a nicer radio. This thing here, as you see, this is one of the old school Explodes here. Not quite the first, but definitely pretty dang old it is. So we're going to switch that up and get us a better radio and start on the rebuild 
Well, that's it for now. I'll make another video here in a little while and show you the other process I made. I need to get this floor mat out so we can get up under here to the, to the underneath to see what we got up under here hiding. And we're gonna probably strengthen this up some this year too. Cause one thing I don't want is flex. And we'll have flex anyways by putting these two gorillas in this little bitty cab, but I don't want much flex. And by the way, go check out my brother Robert Owen's YouTube channel. He's got a, a couple little small demos of him metering. He popped up to a 148, popped up to a 149. He sent me a little video on him. We'll upload that later on today. He got up to a 149, but seems to be peaking and holding around about 148. So be sure to check out his channel today, and I'll give you another video later on. Peace.